Did you want to see me broken, bowed head and lowered eyes, shoulders falling down like teardrops weakened by my soulful cries? Does my haughtiness offend you? Don't you take it awful hard, cause I laugh like I got gold mines digging in my own backyard. You may shoot me with your words. You may cut me with your eyes. You may kill me with your hatefulness, but still, like air, I'll rise. Does my sexiness upset you? Does it come as a surprise that I dance like I've got diamonds at the meeting of my thighs? Out of the huts of history's shame, I rise. Up from a past that's rooted in pain, I rise. Hi, I'm Robin, and these are my reflections. I wanted to um, just kind of like go through the stack with you guys and just, you know, give it a little look. This was one that I've added to my wish list this year. Actually, it's from U.S. Games. They have been, in my opinion, knocking it out of the park this um, this year. I have collected quite a few of their decks this year, and there are still one or two that they released in 2022. When I say this year, I mean in 2022, um, just in case you're watching this in the future, that I still want. So <laughs> I'm very happy. I threw this one on my wish list at the last minute as a Hail Mary. And I'm so glad that somebody was nice enough to send it. Um, I am dying to see what's in this deck. Now, this deck is by an Angie Solens and Jenna Della Grataglia. And I actually, when I saw the title of this deck and I just kind of heard I think I watched like an unboxing or a walkthrough of it and um, they were reading the back of the box and it just kind of made me think of um, that Maya Angelou poem, which I think you may have heard just now. If I could figure out how to edit it in there, you would have heard me reading that as I was opening the box. If not, then <laughs> know that that was the intention <laughs> and I failed. <laughs> so um Anyway, so then this, I thought that this was going to be interesting. It really just brought Maya Angelou to mind. Anything that brings Maya Angelou to mind makes me happy. I thought maybe I might like this in my collection. Additionally, I really um, loved that Jenna Della Grataglia was showing up here with another writer. All of the decks that I have from Jenna, for, with Jenna's artwork, are with Colette Baron reed So I have the Enchanted Map, which the jury is still out on. I actually don't know how I feel about this stuff, if I like it or if I don't. I don't know if it will stay with my collection. And one that I actually love is The Shaman's uh, Dream. I really love this one. I use it quite a bit. And then I have another one called The Shaman, Mystical Shaman, which I have not yet opened. It came in a trade um, about a year and a half ago, and I never opened, ever opened the box. Um, so I don't even know what's in that one, but... Um, Maybe I will open it sometime this year because I, I plan on doing some shopping my, my shelves this year. So we'll see how it goes. Anyways, this one, um, yeah, I'm curious to see what she, what her art brings into my collection when she's not working with Colette Baron reed you know? Um, like I said, I love The Shaman's Dream, but I'm just curious. So I'm glad that I, I this one has come into my collection and let's let's go through it. So it opens with a magnetic clasped box. This box is stunning. It does have, um, some like gold foiling here, here on the sides. That's all foiling. And then these emblems here are also foiled. So this is, I mean, it's, it's shiny and I love shiny things. So, um, wow. Oh, it comes with a bag, of organza bag. That's nice for me. I appreciate that because these box, this box is big. I have another deck from Angie Solens um, that I also got from U.S. Games this year. Like I said, they tried to take all my money. Um, <laughs> and it's in a much, small, much smaller box. See? I don't know why this one is in such a big box, but um, I guess we'll find out, won't we? But I am happy that um, it comes with a bag because I probably... I don't usually keep things in these big boxes. So let me see. This is beautiful. Um, there's smoke and all of that. I'm not sure how well you can see it. The lighting here, for some reason, I'm not getting a lot of light from outside, even though it's broad daylight. So I had to put on 
overhead lighting and I'm just not sure what you're So it says, sink yourself into the feathered red sleeve of your ancestors and rise, woman, rise again. For you are Persephone's daughter, Lilith's lover, Eve's heir. Find the truth, eat the fruit, unmask the myth, let it burn. Oh, look at that wolf. I love a good wolf. Look at him. He's here and there. I love it. Does this come out? No, it looks like it comes out, but it doesn't. This is solid. Your cards won't slip down inside. It comes with the ribbon. This is in there pretty solidly. So this is a good box if you like to keep boxes. For me, this will probably go in the closet because I don't deal with these giant boxes. But um, if it was smaller like this one, I see, I keep this one in its box. But <laughs> especially when I'm working with a deck, if I'm working with it, like actually work. Oh, this is gilded. I think the other one is as well. I can't remember. If I'm actually working with it, um, then I'm going to probably take it out of the box anyway and just set the cards on my desk. Um, I know, I know. People get an attitude when you don't put your cards in something, but if I'm using them every day, I'm not, I don't want to keep having to take them out of things. So I usually just set the cards in a stack on the desk. Uh oh, I dropped my, okay, I'm back. Um, I dropped the top to my exacto knife. We don't need prob we don't need those problems. Okay, so one thing I will say about these unboxings is I don't know, you know, I can't get the plastic off. I don't know. People don't want to watch me deal with that. So they do come gilded. They're they're not stuck to each other, so that's nice. Yeah, we're good there. Um they are they are uh very glossy. You can see the light there. But beautiful. Um, yeah, typical U.S. Games gloss stock. And if you have this, if you have Wisdom of Hafiz, it's the same card stock. Let me see. Let's take a look at the backs. Ooh, those are pretty. Can you see? I know it's like a glare, but they're pretty. They're like moon phases and some geometry. It's nice. Out of the box. Okay. Um, let's take a look at this book. So this is nice and big, so you can see it really well if you have bad eyes like me. Um, well, there's a little poem at the front, Unmasking a Myth. When they want to control you, they do not come with shackles made of iron. They come instead with cages made of shame and story. Oh, sooky, sooky now. I know that's right. <laughs> okay. So we've got a poem. Is it going to be all poetry? No. Okay, so there's a poem and then an introduction. No table of contents. It gets right into the cards. And there is a full page image and a short paragraph and the title of the card there. I'll read one at the end. Then at the end, um, a note from the author. And then about the author and about the artist. And some places to write notes. And oh, there's like a QR code. And then it says, there is no force more powerful than a woman determined to rise. And the QR code, I don't want to show it. It just says, visit our website to explore more details about their products. So I guess I will, I will show it if you want to see more about their products. And I guess that this is the other. So this is Duraway Studio Products in addition to U.S. Games. So I think they collaborated on this. All right, so let's zoom in and get started. I figured what we do is let's flip through the cards, and while we're flipping, I'll just, I'm just going to read from the guidebook the poem that is in the front. So it says, Unmasking a myth. When they want to control you, they do not come with shackles made of iron. They come instead with cages made of shame and story. Like the one about the woman who earned crisis for her curiosity. So tempted by a life of wisdom and independence, she caused the downfall of all civilization. Women are dangerous, says the shame story of Eve. They cannot be trusted and should not trust themselves. 
Give a woman free choice and she'll eat the fruit. Tempt the man, enrage the God. She'll destroy us all with her mad desire to know, to discover, to understand herself, her world, her maker. Give a woman any freedom and she'll follow her curiosity, shape her own story. Seek truth beyond the dictates of order and obedience. She will wreck your carefully controlled mandates, your reign of tightness. She will unmake your holy wars of right and wrong and infuse the realm with choice and instinct, empathy outranking rules, creativity eclipsing war, sovereignty subsuming blind servitude. When you want to know Like Eve, when you have a taste for truth and a hunger for wisdom, you have to question the stories, test the facts, rattle the cage. Who profits from you believing a lie? Who benefits because you believe you are both cause and curse? They have tried to burn you with their shame, strip you, violate you, shrink you, silence you. But they could not break your phoenix spirit. Its fierce heat will melt old regimes and inflame a generation who will not settle for smallness, for submission, for shame. Sink yourself into the feathered red sleeve of your ancestors and rise, woman. Rise again, for you are Persephone's daughter, Lilith's lover, Eve's heir. Find the truth, eat the fruit, Unmask the myth. Let it burn. And that's the end of that. That's interesting. I like that. Wild Woman Rising. Okay. So that's the last card. Yep. Perfect. So then let's zoom you out. Do a little bit of a shuffle here. Actually, hold please. Okay. Okay, I'm back. I wanted to cleanse them before I shuffled them because I like to cleanse my cards before I shuffle them and I didn't do it on the last one and I was feeling some type of way about it ever since. So I said, let me go ahead and cleanse these real quick. So these shuffle fabulously like typical US games, glossy deck, Um, no problems. They move just fine. They are gilded, so I'm not, and this is the mass market gilding, so I'm not going to um, riffle them because I will destroy the gilding. And I like to try to keep them nice for as long as I can. But I did want to see about a few pairings. So I pulled out a couple of decks that I think might go well with them, but don't quote me on this because, listen, I um. Well, actually, that's in the way. I um, just kind of guessed by what I saw on the back of the package. So <laughs> this is Tarot of the Cosmic Seed. Um, it's an indie deck. You can, I think, find this still on Etsy. I just got it either this year or the year before, so it's not too old. Um, let's see what we got. Let's see how they look. Now, if they don't go, don't come for me. We're trying this together because <laughs> I'm just going by what I saw in the package and what I know of Jenna's artwork. But it is very different here than what I'm used to seeing um, in the other decks because the other decks are more, they're softer and I don't know. It's just different. It feels different. Even the, the darker one, the dreams, the shaman dream. It still feels a little different, but I think these go nicely together. So that's an option. Okay. So they're both like collage decks. Okay. So that is um, Tarot of the Cosmic Seed. by Lilena Simone. All right. Let's try. 
Um, let's try Super Lunars. I love this deck. It's also a collage deck. Um, so we'll see how it goes. This is Super Lunaris linen version. You can definitely pick these up on Etsy on their shop. Um, Super Lunaris is the name of the shop. What have I done here? Oh, I forgot some of the cards for the Terror of the Cosmic Seeds still on the table. <laughs> let's put them back in their box. Okay. So let's see about Super Lunaris. Yeah. Wow, these two cards look stunning together. Yeah, I like the way these look together, which is good because I use Super Lunaris a lot. And I think for this deck, I'll probably be using it a lot for like daily sort of affirmational pulls, like you know, how can I be a bad bitch today, you know, kind of deals, <laughs> or closing out readings for friends uh, with some, instead of using an affirmation deck, use one of these, you know, so I think that um, that's probably how I'll use this, I'm not sure yet, because I haven't started using it, but I'm thinking that's probably how I'll use this, so that's good, that Super Lunars goes well with that, okay, so I also have over here one, one uh, mass market that I wanted to try. I was looking for a mass market um, collage deck, but I didn't, I don't have one. Um, which I thought, very odd, because I like collage decks. This is the Sacred Sisterhood Tarot. Um, but I don't own any mass market collage decks. I pulled this one out, the Sacred Sisterhood, because, um, you know, it's giving me bad bitch vibes. And this deck gives me bad bitch vibes. So, yeah. Let's see. <laughs> let's see. Let's see how they look together. See how they look. These are still in order, so I'm just going to attempt to keep them in order because I haven't been through them yet. Of course, it's all about how they talk to each other, right? But as far as like aesthetically, that's decent. So I'll probably try to use these together when I start using this one. And when I start using this other one. Okay, so we like that. And so that again is the Sacred Sisterhood Tarot. Um, you can buy this one. This is a mass market deck, so you can buy this one anywhere you buy your um, anywhere you buy your your tarot, like even Barnes and Noble or anywhere you can get this one. The final one, well, no, I think I'll stop there. Yeah, let's stop there. Okay, so that is um that is Wild Woman Rising. I hope that you enjoyed this. Um, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe. It has been a pleasure chatting with all of you. So if you have the deck and you're using it, chat with me below. Let me know. How are you using it? What are you using it with? What have you been doing with it? What have you discovered from it? I want to know all the things. In the meantime, stay safe and be blessed. Um, I will let you go. I will leave you with that. So have a blessed day. Bye.